Okay, you want to see the meat of the of the uh, solar system? Yo, oh, yeah. So what? Watch it. So basically, the the power comes in. The DC comes in from the panels to this box, which is, controls the charging of the batteries. And when batteries get too full, it shuts them off and maintains the batteries. Um, and then the, the uh, power goes goes into this battery bank. They're basically golf cart batteries. So um, they're six volts each. And they're wired in a series in parallel to make a 24 volt system. Um, so that stores the power. What about a washer and dryer? Do you, have, you can't have 220 though, can you? We have washer. Okay. We, we don't have like you know heating you things. Can't get things things that have I can yeah sure. Oh wow. But uh, things that are are a direct short circuit like heating toasters and, and electric heating appliances uh, are just they drain the batteries a lot. Right. So. Right. Um, so the DC power in the batteries goes through the inverter, which changes it from DC to AC. And then that goes right into a normal house panel. And then the house is wired normally for 120 volts. Now, could, could, you, could you do both? Could you have a hybrid system where if you really did want to be on the grid, you could still switch from one panel to the other? Sure, you, yeah. can, you can do that. You, yeah. In fact, you can even, well, I don't know about Maine, but in many states you can sell the power back to the power companies. How does the power company feel about you doing this? Well, I don't you know that they it. even know. <laughs> but the they couldn't, wouldn't care anyway, would they really? It's not Why, a... How could they, uh, you know, I, what? I don't know. So, Because you're a customer that, uh, that says, that you I, know, I'm not going right. to pay any those rates. And, right. Well, as yeah. long as they charge what they do and they would have charged me that much to bring it in, it's just a no-brainer. And I, you know, this, as, as the way things are going now, uh, you know, I'm in good position. So things are going to go this way. They have to go this way. So anyway, I have no complaints. The thing just sits here and does its job. Power is free from No the, problem. Free Since from you put it in. How, how old is it? Oh, it's um, seven years old. So yeah, that's. So if you did have a problem, I mean, you did you do it yourself? Uh, yeah. But I, there are people that could do it for you, right? Sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's more and more outfits all the time. There's a lot of electricians that know the technology. There's a lot that don't at this point. Are these yours? Yeah. Like I say, I had a. Fine that was the fine art stuff you did, huh? Oh yeah. That's wow, some, that's beautiful. Some of it. Yeah. You, you mean you had to? It was tough marketing it. That's why you just. Well, it wasn't tough, but um, I just felt, uh, you know, I, w I was more of an idealist and wanted to paint what I wanted to paint. And when the gallery owners start telling me what to paint and they charge a 50% commission, I begin, begin to say, it isn't, it isn't worth it on all fronts. So, uh, well, for instance, this documentary I'm doing, yeah. a lot of the sea captains were before the Civil War. There's no pictures, there's no pictures of their shipwrecks, there's no pictures of their ships, and so on. So if I need a, um, a sea captain, I can draw him up. If I need a shipwreck, his shipwreck, I can draw that up, you know. So that, and that can go right into, uh, you know, my Photoshop and so on, and then go right into the video. And so it all, all works together. Now, do you use a lot of skylights to bring in heat? Um, Does that well, make a difference? No, we use them for a light. You use them for a light? Yeah. Mostly. They don't really do bring in heat in the winter? Um, yeah, you get some. You get, you get some from that. But, um, oh, this is great. Yeah, this is my studio basically now. So. Oh, nice. There it is. Yeah, I invented it and then Barbara and I created a small company to uh, produce it. And how's, it, how's that company going? And, um, well, it's going well. I finally sold the company and licensed the product. 
uh, to a company in the Midwest, and they send me a little royalty check every, oh, nice. every quarter. So oh, nice. Not a lot, but, you know, it's Something. helpful, yeah. What does it do? Is it for children? Yeah, for children and adults. It's a maze that stacks up in infinite com combinations. Oh, It's, so it makes a little sculpture almost as yeah, well. Right. It's it's won several parents' choice awards and so on. It, it's mostly available in uh, your independent toy stores, your mom and pop toy stores. It's a little too um, pricey for uh, you know your big box stores, but. Uh, from a woman's perspective. <laughs> Living off the grid. Uh huh. Any problems? Tell it like it is. Tell it like it is. I mean, he um, he's the guy. He loves it, but. Well, the only inconveniences would be um, having to use the generator when I wanted to iron. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Not that ironing is a necessity, but. Mm hmm. Um, and then having to um, during the winter, when the days are short, we don't have a lot of daylight. There are times when we have to um, be much more conservative than, I guess I would, not that I would, not more conservative than I would like, but we, we get used to, or we're, we're just more aware of the amount of electricity that we, we do have. Um, so I can't go around leaving lights on and, but in the summertime, it's okay too. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Because I'm I always guess, turning them off after my wife. I mean. You know, at first it was. Um, you know, really, other than other than not being able to have a dryer, we've gotten used to not having a microwave and a toaster. You know, it's right. no big deal. Right. Or coffee maker. Yeah, um, yeah. You just a press pot or something. Yep, yeah, press pot or just filter, Melita filter. Living with the few limitations is not that hard to get used to, really. I mean, what do you think? I mean, well, I guess, um, I suppose it has, uh, it also depends on what your, your tolerance level is. Also, I mean, some people just want everything when they want it. Yeah, that's true. And those persons would have to go through a major adjustment to accept this kind of lifestyle, I think. Um, but maybe as technology increase, you know, the technology catches up with itself, you, you know, you have bigger batteries, better sure. phone cells. And if, as the, the price of wind power becomes more reasonable, yeah. um, wind generators are still very expensive. Could you actually have a wind generator uh, here? Sure. No, no, no one could say you couldn't have one here. Oh, that's good. No, I mean, there's no um, building restrictions on that uh, height or anything like that. Um, Boy, that would be it, though, if you could do that. Yeah. But I think we looked at those, and they're probably what about ten thousand dollars, or or is that? Yeah. Mm. But it's a balance, you know. You can. You can use efficient designs with your house to improve, uh, you know, your heating and comfort levels. Uh, if you just give, you know, a little thought, more efficient uh, building plans and so on, you don't need as much heat. Right. Know? I mean, we we're comfortable. I mean, toasty, really. Sometimes the doors are all open in the middle of the winter. You know, so. Well, he's exaggerating. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mark, thank you very much for sharing your, your home with us and showing us the technology. You're quite welcome. Yeah, yeah very interesting. Right. We're really happy with it. Um, yeah. it's, it doesn't take that much to get used to, and uh, uh, with no, no Bangor Hydro bill, no power outages. Uh, and so we're good. And quiet, too. Be nice and quiet out yeah. here. Yeah. All right, thanks again. Yep, you're quite welcome.